Welcome to Tech Topics. My name is Russ. I'm an SRE here in Durham. And today we're going to be talking about VM high availability in AHV. So here we have a typical cluster. We've got four hosts, each with some VMs on them. Uh, VM high availability, or HA, means that when we lose one node, it becomes disconnected either due to a power outage or hardware failure, anything similar to that. Uh, we want this VM to still be accessible. Uh, if your cluster supports high availability, or HA, uh, when we run into a scenario like this, we can take this VM and power it on on any of the other hosts. So how does AHV handle VM HA? AHV has VM HA enabled uh, in best effort by default. What this means is uh, whenever we have a host failure, uh, we'll go ahead and try to restart all of the VMs that were on that host as long as we have enough resources uh, on the host and the rest of the cluster. Uh, now, in this scenario, we're not necessarily guaranteed to have enough resources to restart all of these VMs. So some of them may not be able to, to restart. If we explicitly enable HA in an AHV cluster, what we're doing is guaranteeing that we will have enough resources to restart all of the VMs on any given host if it fails. So let's see how this looks. In AHV, we have two types of resource reservations when you enable HA. Uh, the type will be chosen automatically, depending on your cluster configuration. The first type is to reserve a host. Uh, in this scenario, you can see uh, three of our hosts have VMs on them, and one host is reserved. So in this scenario, when we have a host failure, this host becomes disconnected for whatever reason, we can bring up the VM or VMs that were on that host on the reserved host. The second reservation type is to reserve memory segments on every host. In this situation, when we have a host failure, the VMs that were on that host will be brought up using any of the available memory segments on other hosts. So now let's go to Prism and walk through enabling HA and see what a failure scenario looks like. From the Prism homepage, let's take a look at the VM page. And you can see here, uh, we have four hosts in this cluster, each with two VMs on them. To enable HA, we'll click the settings icon, go to manage VM high availability, and all we have to do is check the box to enable HA, and then click Save. You'll see a warning that says uh, some VMs might be migrated. We'll click OK here. And now you can see the VMs that were previously on host 3 have been migrated to host 2 and host 4. So in this case, host 3 is our reserved host. Now let's go to the IPMI console of host 4, and we're just going to simulate a host failure here just by doing an, an ungraceful power down of this host. Let's go back to Prism. And you can see now the VMs that were previously on host 4 have been powered on from host 3, which was our reserved host, just like that. Hopefully this helps you have a better idea of how VMHA works in your environment. Keep an eye on the channel for future tech topics and thanks for watching.